Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. There's some serious noise happening outside of this closet. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... I feel like I need to find a door. Oh, so it isn't just made it on. Yes, it is. We're looking for the Grand Master in the projection room. Ominous. Also locked. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. Find a way to the murder site. Wait a minute, what if I just... Alright, turning around did not have the effect I was hoping it would have, or I would immediately be at the uh, murder site. Oh, jeez. Shout out to Justin Jones, who says... I'm pointing this gun for this reason. Many years ago, I had the opportunity to fire a 357 under close supervision, of course, and you definitely don't fuck around with them. I was warned that if I weren't careful, the recoil could break my hand. I've still got the video of me firing that pistol and another of me with a shotgun. In both, I had a cigar clamped between my teeth. <laughs> I can't really argue with that. And shout out to Clunk279, who... Well, I was going to bring up something uh, in this session. Something I had thought of, oops. And then I remembered that... Well, no, then I didn't remember. Then I saw this comment, and it kind of... countered the thing I was going to bring up. You see... I was thinking that since we know that David was affected by the story, you know, uh, Saga's husband, that, uh... Well, I figure... Logan is with David, so if the influence of the story is spread out far enough to reach David physically, then it almost certainly meant that Logan was dead. That she'd just been erased from existence entirely. But then I saw this comment from Clunk279, who says, Wait, what about Logan? Shouldn't she have the power as well? Shouldn't she be immune too? And that's actually a really good point. Like, David would be no different than anyone else because he just married into the Anderson family. But, uh... Logan is a member by blood. You know, she's, uh... So not just Saga's daughter, she's... Tor's great-granddaughter. And she has a direct line to the old gods of Asgard. The door I came in through this way is locked. All right. Oof. Sorry, I was just thinking that the fact that he says the same line every time might be made me think that it might just keep going forever unless I do the right thing. So that sounds like a paint can shaking, except I don't see any paint on the walls. Or, like, light paint, I mean. At least I don't think I do. I can't even reach that door, which is actually a... Yeah, once again, that's actually just an empty poster frame now that I look at it. All right, fine, let's get out of here. Can I read that? No. So yeah, so... You son of a bitch! Show yourself! Who said that? That's a real shot. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh. We can run, but you I'll can't die. I'll break it. You're a clown in a mask. I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron. Why don't you come here and say that to my face, buddy? And we'll see who's the moron. There's a man in a suit wearing a uh, Cult of the Tree deer mask across the room, just sat in a chair. 
Hi. Is he? Who's there? <laughs> oh, you got the wrong guy. I'm not Alex Casey. I only play him in the movies. He's just a fictional character. What? what what's it's Sam Leek. You don't have to kill me. You don't have to go get that knife and stab me. You can just give up and go back. Forget about the ritual sacrifice to open the way forward. The ritual sacrifice to open the way? No. Don't do it. You don't have to become a monster. Just leave the knife where it is in the back. Yeah, there's a knife back there. In the back? Everything about this was absurd. Our dialogue forced and ridiculous. In desperate need of another pass. But I'd play along to see where it took me. Fuck that. Let's forget about the knife. Don't, oh god, don't I hit A on him and it brings up the item menu. Knife. There is no knife. I'm just gonna go back there. We're, nope, we're just not going to play along with this, because doing evil things is really, really tempting the darkness to get inside, and that sort of play into the fucking prophecy, Alan! Oh god, it just loops back the other way! What the fuck? Let's forget about it did it to me again! I turned- I got- I ran out of this room. And I ran through here, and ran through that door in front of me. And I'm back in the room with Sam Lake in it. I assume that's Sam Lake, because he plays him in the movie. Oh god, I don't have a choice. Either Alan stays here forever and we don't see the ending, or I have to do something evil. How do we even get to that fucking room? Why is it on top of a little wire-thin stand like that? Looks like someone, like, displaying a... Displaying, like, a starship model on their desk or something. A knife. Oh, God. I don't want this. Oh, no! Oh, no, you don't! Knife collected. You'll be sorry! Knife. Oh, uh. Knife found in the projector room of Poet Cinema. Oh. What the fuck? He broke out of the chair while I was going around the corner, apparently, and ran through the door that I didn't notice behind him. Was that there before and locked, or was that just not there? You'd think the red exit sign would have drawn my attention to it. I don't want to fucking find him and... I should have just shot him so I could just stick the knife in his chest and it wouldn't... That's what they say, right? That shooting someone is way easier than stabbing them? That's why humanity has become psychopaths since the 20th century and guns became everywhere? I guess you can kill someone without feeling anything about it? Oh, good. The, the the theme park. I'm walking under the tunnel in Coffee World, and also this corridor at the same I was time. Getting I, close. I haven't seen that effect in a while. I genuinely can't tell if this is the same room I was just in. It is. That's where the knife was. Except the stand for the knife is gone. And the door I just walked through to get to here is gone. And so is the door I walked to to get into this room the first time. I like, by the way, that uh, if I try to hit A on this, the little no sign that appears where the A prompt should be, the, the words door locked to stay there floating in the environment under the doorknob. Well, not in the environment, per se. They're part of the HUD, so it's not like they're just floating there and I can see behind them or anything. 
I feel like this room is getting progressively messier. There's an echo scene right there. Let's like this work. Okay, I'll look at it from this angle. How dare you back up into the wall? Shine the light on it. Come, Alex Casey. You've done well. You've played your role perfectly. Everything out of your mouth is a damn lie. The only place any of this makes any sense is in your psychotic brain. As a fictional character in a story, you've fulfilled uh. your purpose. You brought the writer of the story here. You can go now. No, 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 I'm not going anywhere before I get some answers! How was I in that movie? How, why does all this feel so familiar? What? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? Uh... No! And welcome to you, Alan Wake. What the hell? This is the ritual to lead you on. We are just one step away from your final destination. Mr. Wake. But first, here's an unanswered mystery for you. If Casey was fictional, and you assumed his role as a detective, are you now fictional too? Whose story are you living? No, it means I'm Mr. a role player. Wake. The visions are getting under my skin, coming too close for comfort. Not a separate layer, but mingling with my own reality in the dark place. I hate that. Sorry about that. I wanted to grab a lozenge and I left the bag too far to reach. I thought there was a door there a moment ago. Well, fuck it. Maybe there was. Or no, no. It was over on this side. I do remember. Yes, I was just confused about where in the room I was standing. Okay, so last time there was a door there. Wait. I. Dead end. This can't be right. Did I miss something? I said there was a door on one side, and I tried it, and it was locked, and then the door appeared on the other side. But now there's just the door I came in through. Let me guess. I'm going to open that door, and I'll be somewhere totally different than before. Uh, no. Well, it's more well lit than before. Oh, jeez. It's like a tight path made out of spilled shelves and just discarded film cans. And it's just film all over the floor. Like, uh, film strips. That'll ruin the negatives. Also, all my flashlight, but whatever. Uh, back in Coffee World. That's the bridge. I remember that. That's the bridge over the... Uh... Holy shit! They're strung up with hooks in their bodies and uh, ropes, and they've got film dangling over them like fucking tinsel on a Christmas tree. Oh, and that one's wearing the skull of Mocha the Moose. Just say it. How is this place lined up with the fucking uh, coffee world? That was the second place we went, and this is like Alan's third go around. Whatever, man. Okay! The mask was the key. I got jump scared by that. It was the shot of Mocha's skull that, when it appeared on the edge of the uh, uh, of the well, except in black and white, and startling. Oh, it's the cops! Yeah, it is Thornton uh, here. I think. Which would make you wearing the mask Mulligan. Oh, and he's got a knife in his hand. It's like a sick version of the, the float. Ah, 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 ah. Oh. A pale... Oh, I can look at that. I was traveling deeper into the dark place. A the poem on the wall <clears throat> was growing at the same pace, dogging my footsteps. Like my unwanted shadow moving in the corner of my eye. It wasn't my writing. 
I didn't know what it was. A terrible prophecy. A curse. Looming over me. The poem is growing. A pale balloon in the sky. Float and sink deeper. Night springs when bright falls. I like that. For this sleeper, the surface disturbed. The reflection, now a traitor. In the cavity of the skull, turned to a crater. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Holy shit. Yeah, I do remember pointing that out like a million years ago, that the terms night springs and bright falls technically mean the same thing, where night springs up and becomes more powerful, and bright falls and becomes less powerful. Pale balloon in the sky, float and sink deeper. Night springs when bright falls for this sleeper. The surface disturbed, the reflection now a traitor. In the cavity of the skull turned to a crater. That one makes way less sense to me than the other one does. Even ignoring the sort of tableau behind me... You know, because they put the poem in a place that seemed to apply to it, but didn't in the first time. That's what confused me. I am hitting B. I can't get out of here. Okay, B works there! suppose I can see when the... Hey! A checkpoint was apparently three minutes ago. Thank God for that. Tum -t tum I was ready the this time. The key. Stupid mocha. Walk over here. Oh, for God's sake. I was traveling deeper into the dark place. The poem on the wall was growing at the same pace, dogging my footsteps. Like my unwanted shadow moving in the corner of my eye. It wasn't my writing. I didn't know what it was. A terrible prophecy. A curse. Looming over me. Okay, I pulled out that time. Or pulled back, anyway. That sounded looter than I intended it to. And, of course, there's a coffee machine in here. They're not as prevalent as in uh, Bright Falls, but... Alright, let's press A on the dead uh, deputies and see what happens. Fuck me, one of the hooks is in his ear. Static. And Sunny's changing. Skull's gone. This is how I could help her. Saga Anderson, listen. I I've been tricked. Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean? Escape? He could have Scratch. I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. Whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep oh my going. God. Did we have a family in the horror story? I was closer now. Closer than ever before. But there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still lose it all. 
fountain has been replaced Parliament with the statue tower. again, and there's the I tower. I had to make it work this time. I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending. Let me guess. It loops forever. interesting seeing how they twist those conversations on Saga's side Alan seemed to be admitting that he recklessly put her family in danger on Alan's side she seemed to be agreeing with his plan to uh, work within the confines of the horror story and save the world and neither of them have any goddamn idea I had a feeling it was coming this time. Achievement unlocked. Uh, the Cult of the Word. Complete chapter Zane's Film. Okay. Ominous as shit. Let me check something really quick. Sorry about that. Well, rest in peace, deputies. Um... By the way, I was thinking, you know, the murder scene. Uh... I mean, Nightingale was one of theirs. He always was. But... I don't know about, like, the murder scene in the, the subway, where it was the train car filled with burned bodies. But with, you know, the the theater movie uh, victims being these two cops who are, of course, the deputies. What does it actually say? Oh, they, they, nice, they changed the models. New York City Police Department. But... It's a uh, the badge on their shoulders, I'm reading. A uh, patch on their shoulder, uh, Justin. Um... I would not be at all surprised if I were to go back to the hotel and check on the uh, the murder scene there, the dead woman in the bathtub, if I were to go back and discover that it was, in fact, Cynthia. I just hadn't met her yet in Saga's story at that point. So that's very interesting to me, especially since they seem to be doing these uh, crossover bits out of order. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2. When I open this door here, maybe, and we uh, find out what the next insane leg of the journey is. Till then, take care. Don't trust the cult of the word. And stay in the light. <laughs>